Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at the Gospel of Thomas and we're looking at does the Gospel of Thomas teach us anything about the Lord Jesus Christ and his life? Excuse me. Uh, Ron Cameron comments in the textual integrity of Thomas in the Anchor Bible Dictionary substantial differences do exist between the Greek fragments and the Coptic text. These are best explained at variants resulting from the circulation of more than one Greek edition of the Gospel of Thomas in antiquity. The existence of three different copies of the Greek text does give evidence of rather frequent copying of this Gospel in the first century, according to the critical edition of the Greek text by Atrich in Leighton in 1989. 1999. However, even though these copies do not come from a single MS, the fragmentary state of the papyri does not permit one to determine when it, when, whether any of the MS was copied from one another, whether they derived independently from a single archetype, or whether they represented distinct recension. And uh, you can go into the scholarship of the textual criticism. Basically, I've read the uh, uh, gospel, and right at the beginning of the gospel, he it's re he goes, "These are the secret sayings that that the living Jesus spoke." Now that tells you straight away that that is not in the normal gospel way of writing. Christianity was not a secret religion; it was uh, for everybody. Um, it was more of the Mithraist cultic kind of religions where they met in secret that that kind of language belongs. Uh, he said, whoever discovers the interpretation of these things will not taste death. So he's claiming authority for his specific or his or her specific interpretation or teaching of Christianity. The Gnostic Gospel then says, Jesus said, luckily is the, sorry, that the human will, so that, sorry, yeah, Jesus said, luckily is the lion that the human will eat, so that the lion becomes human, and the fowl is the human that the lion will eat, and the lion still will become human. This is like typical Gnostic kind of way of thinking. Uh, do we, it's like a mystical theological kind of language and is not representative of the early church really so the answer can we know anything about the historical Jesus from the gospel of Thomas the answer is no because it's a Gnostic gospel a mystical writing not meant to give us any historical information